found it really interesting because I found I was I was inspired by some people's uh, commitment in uh, especially war torn countries such as Somalia, and I know that Turkey's done. Uh, Turkish people are doing increasingly a lot of things in Somalia, uh, but also I would now that I've watched this documentary and. It would have been interesting if they made that connection to Said Nursi. And I think because a lot of inspiration of the Gulen movement is from, of the, from the writings of the Risale Nur, of Said Nursi. So it would have been interesting, it would have been uh, good if they mentioned a bit more about Said Nursi. And also I think this would be a great opportunity for me, not just to learn about the Hizmet movement, but to learn about many other Islamic movements in Turkey. And uh, especially how they especially how they survived and thrived during Ataturk's rule and, uh, and policies of uh, hardcore secularism. So I think this would be a springboard to learn more. I think the commitments in northern Iraq, in the Kurdish regions and in Somalia, and I think that uh, so the Turkish people have been some of the first people to, uh, in the Muslim world, to have some sort of substantial, substantive, uh, what's the word? substantial engagement in in Somalia. And I think it's really encouraging because then this is how a country will grow. Because if people are always afraid to invest or invest, afraid to deliver aid because of dangers, then that country is always trapped in a in an endless cycle of poverty. And I think sometimes you have to go and break it, and you need vision to do that. I never knew they did an event with Diego Maradona, for one. And I didn't know that uh, he met Pope John Paul II. But I, what I do know from, uh, from my three months living in Turkey and also from having many Turkish friends that he is a very influential, uh, very influential speaker in Turkey and an influential, uh, influential leader and he's, he inspires many people. And uh, whether you like him or whether you hate him, He's, uh, he's often talked about and uh, his movement is very hard to ignore.